RPP group represents the Secretariat of the Average Channel Alliance. Um, it's very unusual for a consultancy to want to invest uh, in a topic or a product. Normally the kind of revenue comes to us first and we go from there. Um, but when it came to in silico medicine and modeling and simulation, once we understood what this field had to offer, our role as policy consultants is to be able to spot these trends and to see what they could mean for business. For a very long time, there's been a long political conversation about the potential of um, big data and the promise of personalized medicine. These are terms which have been bandied about by policymakers and advocates for quite a long time. And it's been in the political pipeline for so long that policymakers are now saying, well, we agree, now start to show us how you do it. And I think in silico medicine is one of the first things that really offers an actual solution for that, a means of translating enormous quantities of big data into actionable information that can provide a real uh, benefit for patients, doctors, researchers and regulators. Being able to talk to policymakers and say that we know this is an issue for you, we know that these areas are things that you're concerned about, we feel that modeling simulation is something which could help with that. With ANSYS, I think it's a, a very exciting role um, and a very interesting one because there is hardly a name um, that's more familiar in engineering than ANSYS when it comes to things like computational fluid dynamics. Um, to go from a business perspective and say, well, if we can, for example, model um, fuel injection systems for Formula One cars, can we not do the same type of thing for blood flow? I think it's a really fascinating type of approach. Um, I think that industries that are engaged in modeling simulation in healthcare and regulators have an enormous amount of benefit from ANSYS bringing all of that experience in modeling simulation in a, in a field where it's been used for, for decades and bringing that to healthcare where it's still somewhat unfamiliar in a regulatory sense. So what we wanted to do within silico medicine was to make sure that since we're at the very beginning of creating detailed policies on, in silico medicine, let's see what we can do together from the very beginning uh, to make sure that we can develop the best possible framework and hopefully then an international framework. I think once industry comes to terms with what, with what that could mean um, in terms of health technology assessment, in terms of potential reimbursement and proof of efficacy and safety, I think they'll see very quickly that modeling and simulation is something which could very much give the one-up on your competitors.